What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are back with the TRX 4M Bronco and the SCX24 Gladiator. Alright guys, so it has been a little while since I've made a video. I believe the last video I made was of the Easy RC Colorado. I'll put a link up here. Uh, I believe that was the last video I made for a while. Then I went on vacation and then when I came back from vacation, I basically just took a little time for myself um, from making videos. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what I took that's what I did. I took a little break. But what we're gonna do now is we are I'm going to go over everything that I have done with these guys. Um, wheels, tires, everything that I've done with them because I don't think even with these upgrades that I've done on the SCX24, I don't think that I have taken it out since I did these upgrades. So we're gonna, I'm going to go over everything. Uh, upgrades on this guy, I believe I already went over everything, but I'm going to show everything again. The SCX24 Gladiator. Did a couple things to it since the last video that I made, so I definitely want to go over this and show you guys what it is that I did. And after that, what we're going to do is go outside to the mini crawl course and we're going to see how these guys are going to do. So let me get the body off of these guys to show you. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with the TRX4 M Bronco and go over that. And see exactly stuff that I did. As you guys know, I did. Oh, this one's actually kind of loose. Oh, this one came apart. So I got to redo this one because this guy actually came apart, as you guys can see. As you guys can see, it came apart right up here. So now this one is really low. I got to fix that guy. So what I ended up doing to the Bronco, the TRX4M, I ended up getting the light kit from T from Traxxas for this guy. I did a light kit on here, so it's got all lights front and rear. The other thing that I did on it, as you guys can see here, I have upgraded the servo because <laughs> the servo actually went on me as I was doing uh, some testing out with this guy now as you guys can see I also upgraded the suspension on this thing and I did it in all four corners Here's, I did it in all four corners upgraded the suspension now the suspension on this thing they are very very good I just wanted to upgrade it just to upgrade it <laughs> so that's what I ended up doing so underneath, you guys can see I have everything brass. So this thing actually has a lot of weight. I have steering in the front is brass. Uh, the lower links, the upper links, the caster blocks, everything here, especially on the front, are brass weight. The tires, they are Endura tires, Endura wheels. And I will tell you guys what, I really like these wheels. Nice brass weighted wheels and the tires so that's basically all that has been done to the Bronco now the gladiator if you guys haven't noticed if you guys haven't noticed <laughs> so the gladiator I did upgrade the first thing I'll show you is I did upgrade the front bumper um, the lights are also integrated into here also, which I don't remember where I got this bumper, but I do like it. Uh, these are actually metal. They're not plastic. You guys can probably hear it, but these are not metal, but they're like aluminum. Um, so the outside, what I also did was I added some mirrors onto this thing got these mirrors off of Amazon and I think they look pretty dang cool on here. So I got these mirror, mirrors that I got put on. 
other than that, don't really have anything else done to the body. So let's rip this off. Now on the inside is where I have done a couple things also. So the suspension, what I did, I'll move you guys closer here. So what I did with the suspension, I basically took it off of the, I basically took it off of the mounting loop up here and I just attached it to the chassis right there. And I did it on all four corners, all the way around the front and the rear. That's exactly what I did. So it's supposed to be there, but I put it right there just to give it a little more lift. So that's one of the things that I did to it. The other thing that I did to it, as you guys can tell, the wheels. These are also Enduro wheels with Enduro tires. I really do like the Enduro tires. They are very, very grippy. And the wheels, these are brass wheels, which give it a nice weight down low. Now flip this guy out underneath, flip this guy over underneath, and again, I have all brass links. Um, these are also Endura links that are here, which Endura, I will be honest with you guys, Endura makes some pretty nice stuff. Um, I am extremely happy with the Endura stuff, things that I have gotten. Now, the biggest, the other thing that I also did was I did upgrade an Emac servo. And the only reason I upgraded to the Emac servo is because I put the stock servo on this into that recent Jeep that I ended up giving my daughter. So she has that. The other thing I also did is I upgraded the Endura to the Endura 66 turn motor. Now when I upgraded that motor to the 66 turn, uh, there was a lot of people that actually told me that I should have went with the 50 turn motor. The only reason that I went with the 66 turn was mostly to give it a little more torque uh, to go over things, which I am extremely happy with that. But a lot of people were saying that I should have went with the 50 turn motor. So that's what I did. <laughs> I literally went and here it is you guys can see it right there the 50 turn went and I bought the 50 turn motor uh, the Enjora 50 turn motor to put on this thing what I might wind up doing is get the motor the motor that I'll put it in this guy will more than likely get put to the side or I'm just going to put it in the C10 which I might do that I'm gonna throw that in the C10. So, without further ado, let's go take these two out, the Bronco and the SCX24, the Gladiator. Let's take these out, see how it's gonna do, and we'll come back and see how they did. Thank you. 
you guys and there we are TRX 4M and the SCX 24 let me know down in the comments section which one you guys think did better to me I think the SCX 24 did better than the TRX 4M um, the approach angle on the TRX 4M is not as good as it is on the Wrangler on the Gladiator uh, as you guys can see even though this is a 118 scale you guys, whoa, even though you guys can see that the approach angle here, you can see how much further the bumper sticks out. You can see how much further the bumper sticks out from the uh, from the wheels. And on the SCX24, you can clearly see the biggest difference. So the bumper on the SCX24 is pushed in more than it is on the TRX4N. I still like the look of the Bronco. I love this look of the new, bron new Bronco. So I do think that the SCX24 had a little better control than the TRX4. And if you guys noticed on the SCX24 coming off of that one rock, I'll put the video here.
now the Jeep ends up going off of that rock compared to the TRX4M. I think the SCX24 had better control coming off of that. I do like the performance of these uh, of this thing. This thing does perform very well with these upgrades. The tires are nice and soft on both of them. They're nice and grippy. These Endura tires that I have are awesome. I love these Endura tires. They do very, very, very well. Uh, so with that being said, I do have stuff that's going to be coming up on the FMS FJ40. So I did something to it, but I'm going to be doing something else to it, which I think is going to help the control of it. So stay tuned for that because that one is going to be awesome. So I will see you guys in another video. Again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. You all have a good one. Keep our scene.